Fluid Dynamics Lab at Rensselaer is a senior year aeronautical engineering course, and it is in this class whereby students will learn about wind tunnel testing. Before students take this class, they have taken aerodynamics, and it is in aerodynamics where they learn the theory, and when they come to this class, this is when they get the experiential learning aspect of the curriculum. Now, you might ask what a wind tunnel is and what is it used for. Now, a wind tunnel is simply a test facility where it allows anyone to test any model or prototype that they have come up with. For example, Boeing designs a new air aircraft, and that aircraft design is usually done on a computer. The design is meaningless unless it's been tested experimentally. Now, this is when a wind tunnel comes into picture. In this class, students will learn how to operate a wind tunnel and also to take quantitative and qualitative measurements. The models that students would use are as simple as a cylinder up to an airfoil and culminating in a scaled down model of an aircraft at the end of the semester. What we emphasize on in this class is not only quantitative measurements, but also qualitative measurements. And the qualitative measurements that we'll do is with the helium soap bubbles. Now these bubbles are very tiny and we encapsulate it with a certain amount of helium on, on the inside so that the bubbles would be neutrally buoyant. Now this flow visualization is important because it gives the students an idea of what is going on. And also in the future, it gives them an intuition in terms of what they should consider or think about when they design any model that they are asked to design. The video that you would see is flow past a scaled down model of Cessna 182. It is a general aviation aircraft. Now of particular interest is flow at the wingtip of that aircraft. And you might perhaps uh, recall that uh, when an aircraft takes off at the airport, you would see vertical structures uh, at the wingtip. This wingtip vortex is what prevents an aircraft to take off immediately one after the other one. Uh, the video would show you as the angle of attack increases, the formation of the wingtip vortex would happen, and then it would lose its coherence at higher angles of attack. So what you see here, uh, this is the bubble generator. This is where the magic happens. Uh, the visualization is done with helium soap bubbles. Uh, there is a helium, uh, tank that actually feeds the helium to, the, uh, to this uh, bubble generator here. Uh, there is a reservoir where we put soap, and the helium and, uh, and the soap, they are mixing these two canisters, and they subsequently eject bubbles uh, into the wind tunnel. The bubbles come out at a certain speed, so typically what we want to do is match the speed of the bubbles uh, with the free stream speed, so we'll set it at 15 feet per second. and. Now, these bubbles are very similar to what you perhaps play with a lot when you were little, except for two differences. Uh, they're a lot smaller, and on the inside, we encapsulate it with a certain amount of helium. Uh, the reason why we put certain amount of helium is that we can make it neutrally buoyant, right? If it's just air and soap on the outside, it would be negatively buoyant. Now, if you put the right amount of helium on the inside, uh, you would make the entire bubble uh, neutrally buoyant, so which means that you can do the proper flow uh, visualization. Okay, uh, what you see is a tunnel uh, is turned on uh, because our eyes would refresh fast enough, it would actually trace out line to line. All right, let me show that to you quickly. This is what you would see when the tunnel is turned on. And this is what you would see when a light is turned off. And that would wrap up the introduction for lab four.